The next thing to look at is serving it. And there's the net. So let me just close all this. There's the Godoc, godoc.org net. Like I said, economics and business, no comp sci. I didn't study that and uh, never took a networking class. But this is like a whole bunch of TCP stuff in here. And fortunately, uh, I was able to train under Caleb Doxy for four weeks. I hired him to teach at a summer web boot camp for four weeks. And Caleb put together some awesome samples of using that. And you could go to goes to 11 repositories. And I think, I don't know, summer boot camp. But I think it might also be uh, Golang web. I think it's in here. I'm just going to search it for Redis because he did a Redis server. Couldn't find it. Maybe it's in Summer Boot Camp. Let me go look in Summer Boot Camp and Redis. So here we go. So it's in Summer Boot Camp Redis. And so there's code in here about setting up like a Redis server and using like TCP. And, you know, so if we go and we look at this stuff, let me just, uh, that's Caleb. And so here it's like pretty cool, but we could come back a little bit and go lang 05, and that's going to be like in here 02. And uh, let me just look at this. So chat server, TCP, a ROT 13, a Redis clone, TCP Redis server. Holy shit, it's working. I like that. Uh, let's look at day one and see what was covered day one. JSON. All right, so here's like 01 TCP, TCP echo. And so we can look at like the TCP thing. And so here we have like net listen on the port on TCP port 9000. Gives us a listener. We have to defer its close. An infinite loop, always listening. Whenever you can accept, accept a connection and then take that connection and just write to that connection this and then close the connection. So it just writes the time, whatever. And then you could dial into that. So like I said, I'm no networking guy, but that's really cool stuff to kind of see. And you could then actually even build up from there, right? You can build up your own HTTP server, which is like, you know, chat server, raw 13 server, basic server right here. Caleb HTTP server, that's it. So I put Caleb's code with the prefix Caleb and then me wonking around trying to get to work on my own. And so that's just HTTP listen and serve. But he builds it up with TCP through there, but you can check that out. So I just want to show you how to actually use it, but give you that resource. So here's an HTTP server. And he's used from package net HTTP. You set handle func, and then you set a route for your website. And you say which function to use when that route's called. For it, it has to have this signature, you know, because handle func, handle func takes a pattern and a handler. Okay, so a, hand, a handler has to have func, response writer, and this. So it has to have that, right? You have to have that signature. A response writer and a pointer to a request. So here's a response writer and a pointer to a request. And so at this route, run this function. Write to the response, foo ran. At this route, run this function. Write to the response, bar ran. And listen and serve on 8080. So 01301. Who ran? And if I go to route dog, bar ran. So really, like you don't need much more to do really hacky, like let's make some web stuff. And then to deploy it, you could just deploy it to App Engine. 
And those code samples are in, in uh, my GitHub, goes to 11. Uh, Golang Web Dev, they'll be there soon. That's my new one. My old one was Golang Web. So deploying it to App Engine, using App Engine's right there, and so you just deploy it. Or you could, you could, you could set that up on like DigitalOcean on a Linux box, which on my YouTube channel there's videos that show that. So that's a uh, that's like the end, I think. You, you, I know that's like, you know, we kind of like really hit the throttle down at the end, but I think we should end on a success note with y'all programming. So let's do one last challenge because I know people are also wiped out and tired, as am I. Right? It's a lot. It's a lot, and I fire hosed you at the end. But this isn't that far from where you are. Because when you think about what you know, let's do it together. Let me shut down my server. Control C to shut down my server. And now this will no longer work. My server's been shut down. I'm going to go to the Golang Playground. When you think about what you know, let's do one together and then I'll give you an assignment. And the assignment will be to create a type square, create a type circle, attach a method to each that calculates area and prints it. <coughs> Create a type shape, which defines an interface as anything which has the area method. Create a func info, which takes type interface and then prints type shape and then prints the area. So that'd be like one problem. We'll make that problem two. And then problem and problem is not such a good word. And then hands-on one will be create a struct that holds person info fields. Create a struct that holds secret agent fields and embeds person type. Uh, print create variables, a variable, a variable of type person, create a variable of type secret agent, attach a method to person p speak, attach a method to secret agent SA speak and now create a variable type person create a variable type secret agent print a field from person uh, run at P speak attached to the variable type person and then print a field from secret agent and run sa speak attach to the variable of type secret agent. We could even do run p speak attached to the variable of type secret 
Is that too much for you guys just want to call it? Well, I think that this isn't too far from your reach. So this would be the last hands-on. And let's do it together. Okay? We'll do that in the next video.